Heavenly Father, we give you thanks this morning. Thank you for your word this morning. As we get, it, get ready to come into your presence, to be dying, to dine with you, Holy Spirit. Remove, Father God, everything from our minds that will try to bring blockage to us that we do not hear your word this morning or whomever might hear it in the future. Remove, Father God, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of confusion, every, every spirit, Father God, will try to cause your word not to enter into our spirit and our soul this morning. Give us your spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, your word. Let your word bring light. Give light and bring light to every dark area of our lives and every dark understanding we might have. Let your light transform us and change us, bring knowledge, giving wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to all. Father God, under the sound of my voice this morning in the name of Jesus, let your word cut, heal, and bring full deliverance this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word bring growth and transformation. Put the pieces together, Father God, and give us line upon line, precept upon precept, rightly dividing your word of truth in our hearts and our minds, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Bring clear, Father God, communication. Father God, let us hear what the Holy Spirit is saying this morning. Uh, let, our, let your words, Father God, do not be heard or come forth, Father God, that you did not say. So let your word, Father God, hit the mark this morning in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let it transform and let it bring change and growth and full deliverance this morning, Father God, as we delve into your word this morning. Holy Spirit, we thank you for being our teacher this morning. Thank you for feeding us precious food this morning that, we, that our body, soul, need this morning mighty God and bring it strong Father God in the name of Jesus that will destroy Father God all false doctrine all erroneous doctrines that we've heard over the years Father God and the true gospel of Jesus Christ will be taught and heard this morning Father God that will bring freedom Father God to set the captives free under the sound of my voice in Jesus name we pray amen John 3, he came to set the captives free. John 3, verse 16. 3, 16. Ready, read. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. One more time. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. So God, the, our Father, sent Jesus Christ in the world. So that we may have life. So that we may be redeemed back to him. So that we can have eternal life with him one day. So he came to bring freedom, to redeem. And the definition of redeem, give you a few of them. Which is to purchase back. To ransom. To rescue from captivity or bondage. So Jesus came to redeem us back to God the Father, Jesus the Son, came to redeem all mankind back to the Father, the Heavenly Father that is. So Jesus truly came to set the captives free. And so when the Bible speaks of captives, he's talking about not the body, but he's talking about the soul, the spirit that have been captured and caged man's or men's souls can be caged destinies can be stolen can be switched and so christ came to give it all back to us that we've lost in the first adam and so when it comes to jesus christ he and he alone can do that no other god no Religion can redeem or 
set us free. No religion. The gospel of Jesus Christ is what God, what Jesus brought. And he came to set us free. So no matter what name religion there is out there, they cannot set the captives free. They only put people in captivity. We who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb are the ones he set free. All who accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior are the redeemed, are the ones who have been set free, purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is our Savior, our Redeemer. He happens to be the only one who can do it. No other God, no religion can deliver us from slavery, our souls from slavery, from being captured and put in prison houses. He came to set us free. And so if we're looking for freedom, we're looking to be set free, the only, only one can do that is the son of the living God, Jesus Christ. Yeshua, if you want to call him that. He is the only one is capable, not man, no other man. There was no other man without sin. Regardless of what people say, only one man in this earth or ever walked this earth could do that. And he did. His name is Jesus or Yeshua, the Messiah. So he came to set us free. And truly he set us free. Let's go to John 10. John 10. Reading verse 9. John 10. Verse 9. Ready read. I am the door. By me. If any man enter in. He shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. One more time. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. This is Jesus. He's saying that he is the door. And by him, not no other religion. By him, if any man, and that man mean mankind, whether you are male, female, whether you are a man, a woman, a boy, or girl. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and he shall go in and out and find pasture. So it's only in Jesus Christ that man is saved. All mankind is saved and saved from what? Saved from your sins. Saved from your iniquities that he redeemed us from. Our sins are iniquities so that we can be reconciled back to our heavenly father. We're in John 10. Let's read John 10. 10 now. Ready read? The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. One more time. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. So Jesus is saying, that he came that we might have life, and not only have life, but to have life more abundantly. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have life more abundantly. So all who have found Jesus Christ and made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior, you now have life. So what you had before that, right? You had life, but you didn't have eternal life in Christ. When Jesus said that he came 
that we might have life, that we might have life eternal with him, that we are reconciled back to him, and that we may have an abundant life here on the earth, a full life, a good life, a, fu a life full to the overflowing. That's what he came to give. He also came to give us eternal life. For he said he is the way, the truth, and the life. So he gives life. He gives spirit of life. So he gives us that, uh, the life that God had intended for man to have through Adam and Eve. They had a good life until sin entered. Until they sinned. And once the sin, once they committed that sin or they rebelled against God, they brought a curse on themselves. They were all cursed, including the snake. They were all cursed because of sin. And when they rebelled against God by eating the fruit from off the tree of, good of, uh, off the, tree of the good of knowledge and evil, when they did that, they rebelled against God. And so it says their eyes were open, but death came in. Death came in, and because of death coming in, man now was able to die or was going to die. And so when Jesus now says that, I am come that they may have life to give back that life that, that Adam and Eve lost. And that they may have life more abundantly. So one day we will get to spend eternity with him. But he also gave us a new life. Except a man be born again. So he gave us a new life. Behold all, behold, all things are passed away. And behold, all things have become what? New. So he gave us a new life in himself. So we have life and we have life more abundantly. And it's, we don't have to wonder if we have abundant life or if you're going to have a great life. You already have it. I have it. For he blessed us with all spiritual blessings as, if, as Ephesians 1, 3 says with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So he blessed us from before the foundation of the world. He now came back to redeem us to himself so that we can now go back and get what Adam lost. So he truly came to set the captives free. He came to what? That we might have life. So now he now comes and give us life again if we choose to take it in him. So money people things don't make us free not our soul and not our spirit money people things nor religion can make us free only Jesus Christ can make our soul and spirit free let me say it again Money, people, things, religion don't make us free. They cannot set us free. Not our soul, not our spirit. Only except in Jesus Christ can our soul, spirit be set free. And so we have a new life in Christ. We have been redeemed by his precious blood, purchased back given to the Father, and we now have been set free. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we have been redeemed. Let's go to Luke 4. Luke 4. Read in verse 18. Luke 4, 18. Four eighteen. Ready, read. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and to sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. One more time. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty 
them that are bruised. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Only Jesus Christ. No other man can do it. Not religion. Only the Son of the living God. Only Jesus Christ who lives. He lives. He rose on the third day, seated in heaven, in heavenly places in Christ, interceding, being a, being a mediator on our behalf. So only Jesus Christ can set us free. And so we can look for freedom, we can look for happiness, we can look for joy, we can look for things outside of Christ, but they don't give us freedom. They don't give us they don't set the captives free. They don't liberate us. Only Jesus Christ. He says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel. Gospel meaning good news. He sent me, he anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He sent me to preach deliverance. Deliverance to who? The captive souls of men. The captive souls. Not the ones who are in a natural physical jail, but the ones who are in a jail that have their souls imprisoned. He came I came, Jesus said, to preach deliverance to the captives. So what set us free? The preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Knowledge, through knowledge shall it just be delivered. It's in the word of God that we are set free. Jesus is the word. He came to preach deliverance to the captives, the captive souls. And recovery of sight to the blind, the ones who have eyes but yet they see not. To set at freedom, liberty, them that are bruised. This is our Savior. This is what Jesus came to do. He came to set us free. That we may once again have the right dominion over the works of his hands. So that we can take authority over the works of his hands. That we may walk on serpents and scorpions. And have authority and power over all the works of our enemies' hands. Satan. He given us power and authority over all the power of the enemy. He came to set us free. In other words, he came to give back to us everything that Adam lost. He gave us eternal life in him. So if you're feeling stuck today. If you're feeling hopeless today. If you're feeling sad or broken or your mind messed up because you're fearful, you're under plenty pressure, under stress and anxiety, you have a way out. And the way out is Jesus Christ. He took all of that for us. When he went to the cross, he took it all. When he died on the cross, he took it all for us so that we don't have to. He came to set the captives free. He came to preach deliverance to the captives. It's only in hearing the word of God. Knowing the word of God. Having faith in God. His word set us free. Having faith in this word from Genesis 1 through 2, Revelation 22, it's in having the faith. Even if it's the size of a grain of mustard seed, it said, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and have to be, it have to go. So we need to have faith in the word of God. So as the word of God is preached, is teached, deliverance is supposed to come. Why? Because it brings light. It brings light to our dark understanding. It brings light. Light is knowledge. It brings understanding. It gives us wisdom. And so we are set free. Not by money. Not by people. Not by things. 
hear this word this morning. It says, Jesus speaking, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. So it's in the word that we are delivered and set free, but not any word. The gospel of Jesus Christ have set us free. Free from all bondages. Free from everything that had us bound. Free from all the curses of the law. The law that was given to Moses. All the curses. We have been delivered and set free. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Who hung on the cross at Calvary. And gave up his life. He was that sacrifice. The only sacrifice. Worthy to redeem all man back to God. The creator of heaven and earth. The creator of everything. The creator of our enemy. Jesus his son. Set us free this morning. As a child of God you are free. You have been set free. And so we have to walk in that knowledge. That understanding. That truly we have been set free. And we have to take it. But we have to know what we're taking. He delivered us. He preached the gospel to the poor. So the gospel to the poor don't have to be poor no more. He mended the broken heart. So whoever hurt the broken heart. Caused your heart to be broken. Whatever happened to cause anyone. Under the sound of my voice. Heart to be broken. Notice what Jesus said. He was sent by your God. By your father. To heal your broken heart. So we don't have to sit here today with a broken heart. Jesus took that. Said he came to preach deliverance to the captives. We don't have to sit in a prison anymore. If you are a child of God. So Jesus came to set that which was lost. Set it free. Let's go to Luke now. We're still in Luke. Let's go to Luke 19. Verse 10. Luke 19, 10. Nineteen ten. Ready, read. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. One more time. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So the Son of Man is the also the Son of God. That's Jesus Christ. So this is Jesus saying that he came to seek and to save that which was lost. So we were lost and in Christ we have been found and set free. All who made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior have been set free and have been redeemed from all the curse of the law, all bondages, all captivity in other words. So we have been set free. Jesus did what he came on this earth to do, which was to redeem us back to the Heavenly Father, to reconcile us back to God. And the only way we could have been reconciled back to him, where we get to call him our Father, like like Adam and Eve were able to call God their father. The only one capable of doing that was the son of man. Jesus Christ who also is the son of God. The only human being. So we don't have to be confused about the other gods. About the other religions. We don't have to be confused. Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God, redeemed man back to God. The human race, regardless of color of skin, regardless of male, female, boy or girl, he came to redeem man back to God. And so we have been set free as children of God. By Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. So if you're in poverty, if you're in lack, if you're in sickness, if you're lost, 
know for sure Jesus can make all that right today. Because if you belong to him, we have been redeemed from all of that. Let's go now to, we just finished Luke. Let's go to Titus. Titus 2, 14. Titus 2, 14. Titus 2, 14. Ready, read. Who himself to us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. One more time. Who gave himself for us that we might from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. So Jesus, it says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from what? All iniquity. Not only redeem us from all of our sins and iniquities, but purified us unto himself. So he washed us and cleansed us in his blood, his precious blood. He purified us, making us holy again unto himself. So Jesus had redeemed us. He redeemed us. He became a curse for us so that he may redeem us. So that we do no longer have to live under a curse. He redeemed us. Let's go to... Galatians 2. Galatians 2. Read in verse 20. Galatians 2. Twenty. Galatians 2 20. Ready, read. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. One more time. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So Jesus Christ loved us and gave himself for us. It says that we are crucified with Christ. We are crucified with Christ. It says, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ live in me. So the word of God say, if, if we abide in Christ and his word abide in us. So we have to learn how to abide in Christ. We have to learn how to allow the word of God to abide in us. As children of God, Christ lives in us. As children of God, our spirit is joined to Christ's spirit. As children of God, we have been purified. We have been set free. As children of God, we are no longer under a curse. So no area of your life should resemble a curse. No area of my life should resemble a curse. We have been set free. Captives won. Captive once through sins. Jesus in Christ, we have been set free from all bondages brought on us through curses by disobedience. In Christ, we have been set free from all bondages brought on us 
through curses. Whether they were curses we put on ourselves or whether they were curses we inherited because of our forefathers in our bloodline, father's side and mother's side. By disobedience. Say that again. In Christ, we have been set free from all bondages brought on us through curses by disobedience. So Jesus redeemed us from our iniquity and purified us in himself. So Satan don't have any power over us if all of the curses have been removed. Satan have nothing in us, in other words. As a child of God, when all of, the, all of the curses have been removed, we should be able to speak to any mountain and they have to listen. We should be able to say, get behind me, Satan, and he have to get behind us. Why? Because of who's in us. Because of who we are joined to. It says that I am crucified with Christ, meaning we have been crucified with Christ. He says, nevertheless, I live not, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. So Christ lives in us, and he says, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. So Jesus lives in us. When we walk about in this earth, we have dominion. God gave man dominion. He gave all men dominion, regardless of color, regardless of nationality, regardless of age. All human beings have been given authority over all the works of God's hands. Let me break this down. Holy Spirit, I should say, break this down more, smaller and clearer for your children to understand just how powerful you've made man in this earth God gave amen God gave man authority over the birds in the air the fish in the sea every living creature on the earth he gave us dominion over the elements the word of God says the sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night let me tell you what that means that means if a witch or a sorcerer or a spiritist or any evil man speak and command the earth and the moon and the stars to hurt you and you don't know what happened and you are not in Christ and you don't know how to pray and shut that down the earth the moon sorry the stars and the sun will smite you and hurt you why because he gave man dominion so the witches have so many of This is why spells, witchcraft can work against man. And so when you don't see things moving, when you don't see things moving in the earth, why? This is in the Bible. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Man have the ability the authority in Christ to speak evil to the sun, to speak evil to the moon, and to your star because they're light and God say have dominion over them and steal your destiny and to shut down your destiny by covering up your star or burying your star. And so when God say have dominion, He tell you shut it down, take it back. So between midnight and two, between midnight and two, the witches, the sorceress, the spiritists, the herbalists, and all who serve in Satan, up sending enchantments to the sun, the moon, the elements, which is the wind, the north wind, the south wind, the east wind, what's the next one? And the west wind. The whirlwind, the dry wind, the earth. You know why? 
God cursed the earth. When Cain murdered Abel, his brother, God asked him a question, where's your brother? He said, I don't know, am I my brother's keeper? God said his blood cry out from the earth. When Dothan and Korah was crying on and trying to say that Aaron and Moses were not the only two that God put over the, the Israelites, but because they were in the same bloodline, they were trying to give Moses a hard time. You know what Moses said? God, do something different to let them know that you was God. And he said, let the eye open up. So when the witches say, let the oil open up and they speak to the ground and the oil and curse it on your behalf and my behalf, if we don't know how to go back and undo it, then the ground is cursed for us. Who curse it? Evil men that Satan worked through. Who spoke to the winds? Evil men. Satan worked through. Why? Because of the children of men of children of God sit in darkness still. Not knowing what this word says. The word of God says what? Beware of what? Witchcraft. Beware of witchcraft. Why would that be in the Bible if it don't exist? Oh, I don't believe in witchcraft. He was a fool. And you don't know the word. God forgive me for calling them fools. But you better get learned in this Bible. You have to know what you have. And so when they speak to the ground and they pick some up in their hand and they speak to it and they put a curse on it. And you don't know to go and go back and say, no, you going good. You will listen to me because I am a redeem of the Lord. And I cancel every curse of you. What God said to Adam, he said, curse be the ground. If God curse the ground, you think the devil can curse it? You was man to curse it? To make life hard for us? But we have been with time God for Jesus. Hallelujah. We have been with him. By the blood of the lamb. We have been redeemed and set free. But we have to know how to fight. Everything. The chair you sitting on. This all time standing behind this wood. They all came out of the ground. What we are looking for? Where is a car? Where is a house? Where is the husband? Where is the wife? They all come out of the ground. Why? We have been made out of dirt. We have to know how to have dominion. We have to use the authority and the power that Jesus Christ gave us. Why? We are people are praying to God and say, God, Move this and move that. Do this and do that. It's not going to happen. You know why? He's given us the authority and power in Christ and given us dominion over the works of his hands. You know what he's going to say? You better get in that Bible and study to show yourself approved and abide in me and let my word abide in you so that when you speak, you can have what you say. Amen? Amen. So we have to know who we are. Don't be afraid of the word. Not to, not to divvy off. Let me see. I think it's in chapter 2. Hold on, I'm going to show you something. Galatians, we ready there? Go to Galatians 3 and let's read 1. I want to show you something. Let's read that. Galatians 3, 1. Ready, read. Oh, oh foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ have emptied crucified among you. Okay, it says, it's Paul. Oh, foolish Galatians, who have done what? Bewitch you. In other words, who put a spell on you? You got to wake up. We have to know the word. We have to know how to fight. We have to know how to stay in Christ. We have to know what this word really, really means so that we are delivered and set free. There is no time to be ignorant. There's never time to be ignorant when it comes to 
the word of God. When we read and you study and you don't understand something, say, Father God, shine the light on it, please. Give me understanding. Open up my mind to your word. Break the, break the seals off of your Bible for me from Genesis 1 through Revelation 22 that I may know. Teach me how to study your word. Show me the light in the word so that I may have wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation. Teach me how to live in this earth as a king that you've made me and as a priest. In Christ we are kings and priests and lords. So you ask, I pray. How do I suppose to reign as a king on this earth? Holy Spirit will teach you. We get to the place, we get too familiar uh, with the world system, which is ask people. Ask the family. Ask this one, ask that one. But God didn't say that. He said ask, meaning ask him. And it shall be given you. We have been libera uh, liberated. We've been set free as children of the Most High God. We're all kings and priests in Jesus Christ. It says, bear the words of a king is there is power. So we're supposed to reign in the earth. So Jesus has redeemed us. Let's now go to finish Galatians. Galatians 1. 14 Actually we can do 13 and 14 Galatians 1 13 and 14 Ready read Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Amen. One more time. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Amen. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So through Jesus' blood, we have been delivered and set free, rescued from captivity and bondage. By his blood, our sins and iniquities have been forgiven, and Jesus also purified us. So we got a brand new Life, a do-over. So no one in here, or no one under the sound of my voice, should be living a, la a, la a life that they don't want to live. That old life and everything that came with it have passed away. The word of God says, Behold, all things have become new. But we now need to know what it is that we have in Christ, and let's take it every single day until we get used to using it until we get used to speaking to the mountain, until we understand greater how powerful we are. But we are only powerful in Christ because we've been given authority and power by Christ. And he said, in his name, we should cast out um, demons or evil spirits. In his name. So we have to learn to use the name of Jesus to keep our enemy under our feet because he said he has given us power to walk on scorpions and serpents that they won't harm us so he's given us power and authority over all the power of our enemy let's go to Ephesians 1 read in verse 7 Ephesians 1, 7. Ready, read. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Amen. So we once again read in that through his blood, 
we have forgiveness of sins, all sins. Um, he has forgiven us of. He has forgiven us of our iniquities. And we thank God for grace. So we are no longer under the law of the Old Testament. His blood has given us a new testament. So we have truly been redeemed. Let's go now to, to Psalms 107, 107, read in verse 2. Psalm 107, verse 2. Ready, read. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. One more time. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Amen. So we have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So redeem once again means, I'll give you a few of them, to purchase back, to ransom, to rescue from captivity or bondage. So we have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So we've been redeemed from the hand of the enemy. We can rejoice, eh? We can truly regress, rejoice because we have a beautiful, awesome, great, abundant life in Christ. Who have redeemed us. Let's go to Gal Galatians 3. 3. Read in 3. Um, Galatians 3. 13 and 14. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Ready, read. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Curse is everyone that hang on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. So Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Curses every one that hang on a tree. So G Jesus redeemed us from the curse, having been made a curse for us. So in other words, he took our place. So we have been redeemed from the curse of the law, he became that curse for us. So this morning, thank you Holy Spirit, we have some prayers to pray, so that when we come out here, we are fully delivered and set free, so that our souls are totally free out of every prison house, and that our spirit is joined the Christ's spirit and that there is no sin, no iniquity that will still give Satan a legal right to levy curses on us because there is still something that we have not dealt with in terms of forgiveness asking God to forgive and also repent. So we're going to we're going to first of all get everything fixed before we can start praying these prayers you must be born again. Before you can deal, before any of us can deal with generational curses or curses that are on us that we have placed on ourselves knowingly or unknowingly 
or we have inherited through our bloodlines, we must be born again to be able to destroy the covenants and the altars that, was, that are still speaking to us. We have to make sure we born again. This is in child's play. These are demons, foul spirits that we're going to uproot and cast out of our bloodlines. And to be able to do that, we must be born again because we must be in Christ to be able to do this because he was the one who redeemed us from the curse of the law. He became a curse for us. And for us to deal with this correctly, we must be born again. If we are not born again, these prayers will not destroy the altars, the covenants, and all it will do is upset these foul spirits and cause them to retaliate. So we cannot be half safe. Is it you're safe or you're not? And so if you are a child of God today, you have a right to destroy altars and null and void evil covenants in your bloodline because Jesus has given you as a child of God authority and power over all the power of the enemy and he became a curse so that you don't have to nor do I so before we can deal with this we're going to invite Jesus into our heart to make sure that he is our, still our Lord and Savior and once we don't do that, we're going to sing two songs, which is, I am free, praise to the Lord, I'm free, and I surrender all. Once we do that, we're going to go into confession of sins and iniquities for ourselves and our forefathers. And I'm, we're going to do all of this together so that you destroy the altars and the covenants in your bloodline. As a representative of your bloodline and your father's si father side and mother's side, as a child of God, you. And anyone that, who is married, you can do it on your spouse side of the bloodline. So that you are set free totally when you leave out of God's presence here today. And not have any curses still working against you. So we have to do it correctly in order for us to see the results. The, to me, is wasting time beating around the bush. I don't believe in wasting time and I don't like be, going around the same bush or beating around the bush, they say. I refuse to walk around a mountain because a mountain is too big. Mountains are big and tall. I'm trying to go over them there's a song I'm going over the, on the rough side of the mountain. We shut down the rough side of the mountain today. And we're going to take authority in the name of Jesus. And we're going to leave out of here. Set free as Jesus has given us freedom in himself. Because of his blood. Amen. So we're going to, like I say, make sure that we are born again. You say it inwardly, that between you and God is no pressure on no one. If you're not born again, you're ready to give your life. This is not where you are forced to give your life to Christ. This is a choice that every human being have to make for themselves if they're going to give their life to Christ. And so I'm not going to say, repeat after me and make Jesus your Lord and Savior. No, I'm not going to do that. He's given us free will. So that's between you and your God. And if you ain't too sure, if you're born again today, then don't hurt to go ahead and say the sinner's prayer all over again, inviting Jesus Christ to come in into your heart and take him as your Lord and Savior. Make sure that you are fully a child of God before we get started. Because like I say, this is in child's play we're going to deal with this morning. This is uprooting demons. 
um, demonic forces that have been working against us. We don't know how much years in our bloodline. So this is in child's play. Amen? So I'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and pray that prayer. Amen. Father God, we give you thanks, Father God. We thank you that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We thank you, Father God, that we are your children. And so, Father God, we thank you as we have already invited Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior. We give you thanks this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father God, even now, as we get ready to sing these songs, we thank you for work on our hearts. So that when we pray, all our prayers will be heard. I surrender all. Sing the next one. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Stand now. Lord, we give you thanks once again. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you 
our Lord and Savior, for redeeming us from the curse of the law, for washing us and cleansing us in your blood, for forgiving all of our sins and all our iniquities. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father God, as we get ready, put the prayers, get ready to pray, put all the prayers in our mouth, Holy Spirit, that you have us to pray this day. Prayers that will truly set the captives free, all in our bloodline, on our father's side and mother's side, on our spouse's side as well, so that when we leave out here, we leave out here fully delivered. For Jesus came to set the captives free, and God, we come to take full uh, deliverance every year of our lives and to remove all curses off of us because Jesus became that curse. Amen? Amen. So repeat after me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I repent, I repent on, behalf on behalf of myself and my ancestors, and my ancestors for all sins and iniquities. That we, have committed. that we have committed. I confess, I confess this, day this day for all our sins of iniquity, all sins, sorry, all sins and iniquities, for all sins and iniquities of hate, of hate anger, anger, bitterness, bitterness unforgiveness, unforgiveness, revenge, revenge murder, Suicide, suicide murderous, murderous in, my in my bloodline Lord I repent, Lord, I repent on, behalf all, on behalf of us all especially for hate, especially for hate and, unforgiveness. and unforgiveness Lord I repent, Lord, I repent if, I if I have unforgiveness in my heart against anyone if I, if I have hate in my heart for anyone, bring their names and faces to me now, Lord. Bring their names and faces to me now, Lord. Father, I repent. Forgive me. Father, I repent. For you say, for you hate the brother. For you say, you hate the brother. You are murderer. You are murderer. And you say we must forgive. And you say we must forgive. All that hurt us. All that hurt us. So, Lord, this day. So Lord, this day, I ask you to help me to forgive, I ask you to help me to forgive and, loose and loose all that have hurt me, all that have used me, all who have taken advantage of me in every way. Lord, I forgive them. Lord, I, forgive them. I ask you to heal my soul from all trauma. That I, have received that I have received from my mother's womb, from my mother's womb every, age, every age up to my present age. Up to my present age. Lord, heal me. Lord, heal, me. Heal, my soul. heal my soul and make it whole. whole. Loose my soul, my soul from every prison house. From every prison house. In the water. In the, ground, in the ground, or wherever it might be in prison, you came to set the captive free. And Lord, set me free in soul and spirit, and even body, from all sickness, infirmities, and diseases. In Jesus' name. Father God, I repent again. Father God, I on behalf of my ancestors, on behalf of my ancestors, and myself, and myself who've opened the door, who opened the door to anger, to anger, to bitterness, to bitterness, to hate, to hate, unforgiveness, unforgiveness for revenge, for revenge, for murder, for murder. For suicide. for suicide, I denounce and renounce, I denounce and renounce all, evil all evil covenants that we have made, that we have made. and this for the ones who are married, and all in my spouse's bloodline, in Jesus' name, this for all of us, 
I call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to every evil tree root. I put your axe to every evil tree root. And chop them down. I chop them down. I call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn all the trees, its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. To burn all the trees, its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, once again I repent. Father God, once again I repent. On behalf of myself. On behalf of myself. My bloodline on the far, my father's side and mother's side. My bloodline on my father's side and mother's side. The ones who are married on my spouse or husband's side or my, or my wife's side. And Lord, and Lord, all who have committed witchcraft, all who have committed witchcraft sorcery, sorcery, serve the devil, serve the devil in, any form in any form of idolatry. Of idolatry. I repent on behalf of myself. I repent on all in my bloodline, all in, my blood in, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, I denounce and renounce, I denounce, and renounce all evil covenants that we have made, all evil covenants that we have made. I call on your consumer fire to burn all evil altars to ashes, I call on your consuming fire to burn all the evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to every evil tree, I put your axe to every uh, Lord, let your consuming fire. Uh, Lord, let your consuming fire. Burn all those trees, its roots, all the trees, the leaves, and the fruits to ashes. To burn all the trees, its roots, all the trees, its leaves, and the fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God. Father God. If there's anyone in my bloodline. If there's anyone in my bloodline. Who committed, Father God, sodomy. Father God, who have abused little children, or anyone sexually, or anyone sexually, mentally or verbally, mentally or verbally, I repent on their behalf. I repent on their behalf. And if I have done it, I repent on behalf of myself. And if I have done it, I repent on behalf of myself. Of all. Of all unclean sex, of all unclean sex, all sex outside of marriage, all sex outside of marriage, I repent on behalf of myself, I repent on behalf of myself, whether it was in the natural or in my dreams, whether it was in the natural or in my dreams, I repent, I repent, I denounce and renounce, I denounce and renounce all these evil covenants, all these evil covenants. Uh, I, have committed, I have committed. My ancestors have committed. My ancestors have committed. I denounce, renounce. I denounce, renounce. Cancel all these evil covenants. Cancel all these evil covenants. I call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to the root of every evil tree. I put your axe to every and call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn all the trees, all its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. To burn all the trees, all its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I repent once again. Father God, I repent once again. On behalf of myself. On behalf of myself. All in my bloodline. All in my bloodline. On my father's side and mother's side. On my father's side and mother's side. Who have, who have committed, committed all forms, all forms of, oral sex, of oral sex, anal sex, anal sex all filthiness of the flesh, all of the flesh sex, with animals, sex with animals, sex with things. Father, I repent, Father, I repent. Whether, I've done it in my dreams, whether I've done it in my dreams and in the natural and on behalf of all in my bloodline, on my father's side and mother's side.
I denounce and renounce, I denounce and renounce all, evil all evil covenants that we have made. That we have made. I call on your consuming fire, I call on your consuming fire to burn every evil altar to ashes. To burn every evil altar to ashes. I put your axe to the root of every evil tree. I put your axe to the root of every evil tree. And cut them down. And cut them down. I call on your consuming fire. I call on your to burn all the trees, its leaves, and its fruits to ashes. To burn all the trees, its leaves, and its fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, now I ask you. And Lord, now I ask to search me. To search me. Is there anything else? Is there anything else that I need to repent of? That I need to repent on behalf of myself. On behalf of myself. On my bloodline. On my bloodline. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Lord, I denounce and renounce, I denounce and renounce all spirit spouses, all spirit spouses, all spirit husbands, all spirit husbands, all spirit wives, all spirit wives, all spirit children, all spirit children. I call on your consuming fire, I call on your consuming fire to burn all marital garments in the spirit, to burn all marital garments in the spirit. Burn them to ashes, O oh God. Burn them to ashes, O oh God. I take off. I take off all rings. All rings. All chains. All jewelry. All jewelries. All, jewelries, all nose rings. All air rings. And all other holes. And all other holes that have jewelry in them. That have jewelry in them. On me in the spirit. On me in the spirit. I take them all off. I take them all off. And I give them back. To every foul spirit given that gave them to me. To the every foul spirit that gave them and to I me. give a letter of divorcement. And I give a letter of divorcement. To, to every spirit spouse. And Lord, I divorce them now in the spirit. And Lord, I divorce them now in the spirit. I command them to leave me alone. I command them to leave me And to alone. never come back. And to never come back. Marriage are not spirits are not uh, permitted to be married. Spirits are not permitted to be married. I sever all soul ties. I sever all soul ties. To all spirit spouse. To all spirit spouse. To all spirit children. To all spirit children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All spirit ties. All spirit ties. To all evil spirits. To all evil spirits. I sever the ties. I sever the ties. All of them, Father God. All of them, Father God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. And I ask you now to wash my body, soul, spirit of all defilement, all unrighteousness, all impurities, all iniquities, all sins, all witchcraft, all sorcery, all enchantment, all spells. In the name of Jesus. Father God, Father God, wash and cleanse my bloodline. Wash and cleanse my bloodline. Purify them on my father's side and mother's side. Purify them on my father's side and mother's side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, Father God, I now repent. I now repent. On behalf of myself. On behalf of myself. My ancestors on my father's side and mother's side of the bloodline. My ancestors on my father's side and mother's side of the bloodline. And my nation, and my nation. If, we if we have been sold into slavery, have been sold into slavery stayed, in slavery stayed in slavery unknowingly, went into slavery unknowingly, went into slavery unknowingly or inherited slavery unknowingly or knowingly, or inherited slavery unknowingly or knowingly, I denounce and renounce. All soul, ties, all soul ties, spirit ties, spirit ties and, bodily ties, and bodily ties to all forms of slavery, to forms of slavery. In, the in the name of Jesus. I denounce and renounce, I denounce, and renounce all evil covenants of slavery, all evil covenants of slavery that, I have that I have inherited through my bloodlines, through my bloodlines and through my nation. And through my nation 
and through my spoken words, or me coming into agreement of spoken words of slavery, I denounce, renounce, and cancel those covenants. I call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to every evil tree. I put your axe to every evil tree. I call on your consuming fire, Father. I call on your consuming fire, Father. To burn all the trees, its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. To burn all its trees, all its leaves, and its fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God. Father God. Sever all soul ties. Sever all soul ties. To idolatry, to idolatry, idol worship, idol worship of, things, of things, places, places people, people in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and animals, and, animals, and, the, elements, and the elements, in the, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. All form of idolatry, form of idolatry I repent of in my bloodline. If they worship any elements, or the powers of the moon, the sun, and the stars, I repent on behalf of my ancestors, on my father's side and mother's side of the bloodline. And if they worship the earth god, I denounce and renounce. Null and void all these evil covenants that they have made and I might have made knowingly or unknowingly and even in my dreams. I cancel those evil covenants. I call on your consuming fire to burn all evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to every evil tree and I cut them down. I call on your consuming fire, Father, to burn all the tree evil trees, all the leaves and, and fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Father God, release me. Sell every, every tie to sorcery, to, sorcery, to, idolatry, to idolatry, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Purify, me, Purify me, body, soul, and spirit, body, soul, and spirit from all bewitchment, all sorcery, all divination, all, all, all tarot card reading. Horoscope reading. In the name of Jesus. All voodoo and witchcraft. White magic, red magic, black magic. Loose me, Father God. In the name of Jesus. From them all. And I cancel. Null and void. All those evil covenants in my bloodline on my father's side and mother's side that I have inherited that is in my bloodline and that I might have brought on myself to idolatry. I null and void them now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I call on your consuming fire once again. And Lord, I call on your consuming fire once again. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. To burn all the evil altars to ashes. And I put your axe to every evil tree. And I put your axe to every evil tree. And I cut them down in Jesus' name. And I cut them down in Jesus' name. I call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn the trees, the leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Father God, purify me. Purify my body, soul, and spirit from all 
unrighteousness, all defilement, all filthiness, all uncleanness, in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, I ask you to sever every tie, body, soul, and spirit, that have me caged, that have me stuck, that have me chained to all places, buildings, things, animals, in the name of Jesus. Once and for all, loose and sever every tie, break every chain, pull up every anchor that have me anchored. At the wrong locations, in isolated buildings, in the wrong places, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as you uproot those anchors, uproot every anchor of evil in my bloodline, on my father's side and mother's side. In the name of Jesus, let your hammer, O oh God, break those anchors to ashes. Uh, break those anchors to pieces. That I never be anchored. Wrong place. In isolated buildings. To, to things and people. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I call on your consuming fire. On every evil altar. That had me. Anchored. At the wrong place. To, to things. To animals. To buildings. In the name of Jesus. And God, I put your axe to every evil tree and to people. I put your axe to every evil tree. I, I cut them down. I call on your consuming fire to burn them to ashes with all its leaves and all its fruits. In the name of Jesus. Father God, if I have been isolated from people, places, buildings, and things, Lord, remove me now. Never let me be isolated again. In the name of Jesus. Position me in life where I supposed to be. In the name of Jesus. If my star have been caged, have been covered up, have been buried, Lord, I ask you to purify it. Wash it in the blood of Jesus Christ. And reposition it, Father God, to its original place in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, I speak to the spirit of infirmity in my bloodline, on my father's side and mother's side. Father God, I repent on behalf of myself, all in my bloodline, on my father's side and mother's side, who have opened up doors, who have opened up doors and allowed the spirits of sickness, diseases, infirmities to enter in. Lord, I denounce and renounce all evil covenants with all sicknesses, all diseases, all infirmities, even the silent killer behind high blood pressure, stroke, and heart 
conditions. I silence the silent killer. And Lord, I denounce and renounce all evil covenants that I have made and my ancestors have made with all evil spirits of sickness, infirmities, and diseases and the silent killer. I call on your consuming fire, I call on your consuming fire to burn all the altars, evil altars to ashes. I put your axe to every evil tree. I push your axe to every evil tree. I call on your consuming fire. I call on your consuming fire. To burn the trees, its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. To burn the trees, its leaves, and all its fruits to ashes. And I sever every tie now. Every time. Body, soul, and spirit tie. Body, soul, and spirit tie. To all spirits of sickness, infirmities, and diseases. To all spirits of sickness, infirmities, and diseases. And the silent killer. And the silent killer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command them to leave my body. I command them to leave my body. And never to return. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name, Father God, Father God I, ask you now I ask you now to break, to break, to break and, remove and remove all chains, all chains shackles, shackles being, yoked being yoked to all unbelievers, to all, unbelievers all those soul ties I've made, I cancel null and void. And I, and I break the chains, the shackles that had me bound. I have been born again. I have been set free from all captivity in Christ Jesus. I have been redeemed from by the blood of the Lamb. And I take my freedom totally. In the name of Jesus. I now destroy all remote controls that was once controlling my body, my sexual organs, my womb, my brain, my soul, my emotions, my will. I destroy those remote controls with the harm of God. With the armor of God. Never to be controlled by the enemy again. Never to be controlled by the enemy again. For my God, For my God have redeemed me redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And I declare that I have been redeemed in Jesus' name. Father God, Father God I, ask you now I ask you now to take off. To take off of my body, soul, and spirit, all filthy garments, all garments of failure, all garments of sickness, infirmities, and diseases, all garments of depression, all garments of depression, oppression. Father God, every evil garment. That have been placed on me. God, I remove them all now. And I call on your fire to burn them all to ashes in the name of Jesus. And as your word says, put on new clothes or put on new change of raiment on me now. In Jesus' name. Clothe me with your light. In the name of Jesus. I take life in my Jesus. For he gave me life in himself. And I live now in Christ Jesus. Free from the curse of the law. In Jesus' mighty name. And Father God, I thank you. And now, O oh God, 
I ask you, I ask you to allow us to enter your courtroom. To allow us to enter your courtroom. To have these verdicts, evil verdicts, overturned. Overturn. I ask you, O oh God, I ask you, oh Lord, to have our adversary, to have our adversary present in the courtroom. Present in the courtroom right now. As we enter your courtroom, O oh God, as we enter your courtroom, let your holy Bible, let your holy Bible, on the blood of Jesus Christ, on the blood of Jesus Christ, be present, be present with the twenty-four elders, with the twenty-four elders, with the cloud of witnesses, with the cloud of witnesses, on you, heavenly Father, on you, heavenly Father, as righteous judge, as righteous judge. I thank you. I thank you. For giving us permission, for giving us permission to, speak on our behalf, to speak on our behalf, on behalf of our bloodline, on, of our bloodline, on our father's side and mother's side, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, and Father God I, come now, I come now thanking you, thanking you for forgiving me of all my sins and iniquities and adopting me as your son. I take that freedom that my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have purchased for me by his precious blood that was shed on Calvary's cross redeeming me Rescuing me, rescuing me from the curse of the law, the of the law. Rescuing, me rescuing me from being a captive, from being a captive to, all se- to, to all sins and iniquities and all curses. He rescued me, he rescued me from, all from all bondage. So Father God, so Father God righteous judge, and righteous judge, I stand before you. In your courtroom now, in your courtroom, asking you, asking you to, overturn, to overturn, undo all the guilty verdicts, and undo, all the guilty verdicts and, undo and undo all the guilty verdicts that was levied on me, that was levied on me because of disobedience, because of disobedience to, your word. to your word. All sins and iniquities. All sins and iniquities of my forefathers. Of my forefathers. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for, redeeming me from them. for redeeming me from them. And Lord, we were guilty. And, Lord, we were guilty. and I have repented, and I have repented. On, behalf of on behalf of myself and all in my bloodline. And, all in my bloodline. and, now, Lord, and now, Lord, I ask you, I ask you to overturn the verdicts. To overturn the verdicts. For you have said in your word. For you have said in your word. You have blotted out. You have blotted out the handwriting of the ordinances. The handwriting of the ordinances that were against me. That were against me. And nailing them on the cross of Jesus Christ. And nailing them on the cross of Jesus Christ. And spoil principality and powers. And spoil principalities and, and powers. made an open show of them. And made an open show of them. Triumphing over them. Triumphing over them. So Father God. So Father God. I thank you. I thank you. That Satan, my adversary. That Satan, my adversary. Have no legal right. Have no legal right. To bring those curses, to bring those curses on me ever again, on me ever again, because, because you have forgiven me, you have forgiven me, and you have forgotten them, and you have forgotten and them, and you've taken them out of the way, and you've taken them out of the way, and nailed them on the cross of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and nailed them on the cross of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I have repented. On behalf of my ancestors and myself. On behalf of my ancestors and myself. And you have said in your word. And you have said in your word. If we confess our sins. If we confess our sins. That you are faithful and just. That you are faithful and just. To forgive us our sins. To forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And so Father. And so Father. Once again. Once again, I ask you to overturn the evil verdicts that Satan, our adversary, once had. That Satan, our adversary, once had. 
For Jesus, our Redeemer, have redeemed us from the hand of our enemy. Not only that, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, have redeemed me from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written in your word, curses everyone that hang on a tree. And so, Father God, I thank you for hearing my case and overturning the evil verdicts that Satan, our adversary, had against us. As of this day, as an on time, on time, he have no legal right to bring a curse on me, to bring loss on me of any kind, to bring failure on me or sickness on me of any kind. He cannot, according to what Jesus Christ did, I take it fully. And Father God, I ask you as righteous judge to silence everyone in my bloodline who is supervising or keeping any evil altar alive and keeping curses in my bloodline. I ask you, Father God, to silence those altars that they will not speak against me or my children in the name of Jesus. For I have been redeemed from the curse of the law. So I ask you, God, to silence everyone in my bloodline who are still keeping those evil altars that are active in the name of Jesus. I am your child. You have adopted me, Father God. And I ask you now, God, to allow me to jump over my bloodline on my father's side and mother's side and put me in the bloodline of Jesus Christ where no one in my father's bloodline and mother's bloodline who are still servicing those evil altars would be able to speak against me. So Lord, I thank you for you say ask and it shall be given you. So I ask you now, O oh God, to let me jump my bloodline and let my bloodline now be in Christ Jesus' bloodline. Now be in Christ Jesus' In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Father God, Father God I thank you, I thank you for, allowing for allowing me to present my case. To present my case. I ask you now, God, I ask you now, as you overturn the verdicts, as you overturn the verdicts position me position and my children, and my children where we're supposed to be in life. Where we're supposed to be in life. And all that are married. And all that are married, Father God, let their spouses be repositioned as you position their spouse under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. Father God, even now, I ask you to wash and cleanse our foundation. For you say, if the foundation be faulty, what shall the righteous do? So, Father God, I ask you now to rebuild our foundation and rebuild them in the foundation of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen? Amen. And Lord, as you rebuild our foundation, rebuild the foundation all of all in our bloodline on our father's side and mother's side, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that there'll be no faulty foundation. 
cover us in the blood of Jesus Christ. And Father God, as you cover us, Father God, give your angels charge over us in the name of Jesus. Wash once again our body, soul, and spirit in the blood of Jesus Christ. Bring down, Father God, all walls of that isolated us. Bring down all the fences, Father God, all the hedges, Father God around our enemy father god that they may scatter father god in the name of jesus as they come one way god scatter them seven ways in the name of jesus god position us now father god in first and father god destroy father god all restraints father god all limitations of small and middle and bring us father god to our head and first father god in the name of jesus bring us father god into mega position father god that we take our be to be delivered to be delivered and father god uplifted in high places in the earth father god that we'll be no longer beneath but we'll be above we'll no longer be the tail but we'll be the head father god and bring us into a greater space father god in the name of jesus to take us from small and and middle father god to first front and center in the name of jesus and out of lack and poverty and into abundance and into abundance that christ gave us to the full to the overflowing father god give us the power father god to get wealth father god as poverty is finished with us we take our riches in christ jesus empower us now father god that our hands whatever our hands touch will prosper father god position us in the marketplace father god to father god to be successful so god i ask you to prosper our way Father God, make our way successful. Open doors, Father God, for Jesus is the door that we go in and find pasture and we are safe. So, Father God, open new doors of opportunity and for all under the sound of my voice. Lift us in the marketplace. Lift us in our businesses. Lift, lift us in our careers. Lift us in ministry, Father God. Lift our children as well. In the name of Jesus, Father God, promotion comes from you. Bring promotions. Bring increases, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Bring, Father God, the homes that are greatly needed. Bring the vehicles that are needed. Father God and Lord, allow finances to flow freely, Father God, that we will do what you have us to do as you instruct us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I declare this day, Father God, that we have been set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, I silence. Father God, all and cancel all retaliation against all under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Cover all in our bloodline in the blood of Jesus Christ. God, we have been given power and authority to walk on serpents and scorpions. And God, we have dealt, Father God, with all the evil covenants in our bloodline. And Lord, I ask you, Father God, to hedge, put your fiery hedge of protection over all in our bloodline that the enemy will not try to come and attack them father god in the name of jesus so you keep give your angels charge over them on us father god protecting us father god and delivering us from all evil in jesus name amen